welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 2009 Mac Mini. Make sure to watch the video all the way through before attempting this upgrade. As you'll see, getting into the Mini is a somewhat tricky procedure and professional installation is suggested. We have shut down and unplugged the Mini and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. To get inside the Mini, we first need to flip it over. To loosen the clips holding the top cover on, you'll need a small putty knife. Carefully insert the blade of the putty knife in between the inner and outer cases. Then, gently but firmly pry outward with the knife, which will cause it to detach the inner clips from the case. You'll hear a series of pops as the clips come free. Carefully work your way around the Mini's edges. Once you get to the rear of the Mini, the case should be separated enough that you can simply lift the cover up and off. Inside, there are three antennas that need to be removed. The two narrow ones on the left simply pull up and out. There's a spring under each that you should remove as well so it doesn't accidentally get lost. The frontmost antenna's wire is held down with some tape, so you'll need to remove that to move the antenna and wire clear of the base. The large antenna on the right has a small clip underneath which you'll need to squeeze to release. You'll want to remove this spring as well. There are four screws you'll need to remove to detach the drive assembly from the base. The front left screw is located here. The rear left screw is located here. The right rear screw can be found here. The right front screw is larger than the others and can be found here. Once you've removed the screws, detach the SATA cable that holds the two halves together. Once that's been detached, you can gently lift the drive assembly up and away from the base. It may take a little maneuvering to get the assembly clear. The hard drive is located on the underside of this assembly. It's held into place by these four screws, which will need to be removed. Next, you'll need to remove the temperature sensor. Use your nylon pry tool to gently pry the sensor loose from the drive. Then detach the tape holding the cable to the drive bottom. Push the drive forward within its bay to loosen it from the SATA connector. Then, use your pry tool to help lift it up and out of the assembly. There are two anti-static cushions on the drive which will need to be removed. Gently peel them off and set them aside. You are now ready to install the new drive. We can install any SATA 2.5 inch platter based or solid state drive in the Mini. For this installation, we're going to install a standard hard drive. Place the two anti-static cushions you removed from the original drive into the same locations on the new drive. There should be enough residual adhesive on the pads to allow them to stick. Slide the drive back into its compartment, then tip the assembly so that the drive is on the underside. You should now be able to slide the drive onto the SATA connector. Next, replace the four mounting screws that hold the drive in place. Finally, reattach the heat sensor. Again, there should be enough adhesive left on the sensor to attach it to the drive. Replace the drive assembly back into the base, making sure not to pinch any of the antenna wires. You may need to adjust the positioning a little until the assembly fits into place. Next, reattach the drive ribbon cable. 
It's now time to replace the screws. The large screw goes in the front right position. The three remaining screws are all the same size and go in the three spots you removed them from earlier. Place the springs on the antenna posts then attach the antennas themselves by pushing them into place. For the large antenna on the right, you may need to squeeze the clip you use to remove it in order to replace it. Once that's done, you may now replace the top cover and push evenly around all the edges until it clips flush back into place. You may now set your Mini upright, plug it back in, and turn it on.